Good morning, everyone. I hope you are well. I hope that everyone at home and your families are well too. Um, this week, our assembly is all about how we can try to cope with the time that we're having to spend at home and make sure that we're staying healthy, both in our physical health and our mental health. And so in this assembly, I'm going to be sharing some ideas about how to do that, but also um, members of staff from Bridge are going to be sharing what they're doing at home to help them. So I thought I'd start the assembly um, as I'm pausing on my uh, daily exercise. So one thing that I'm making sure I do is I'm getting up early every morning when it's still quiet outside and I am going to do a run every single morning. Uh, so I'm down on Hackney Marshes um, on uh, this morning to, uh, to do that exercise. So I'm really trying my absolute best to keep up that exercise routine because I know it helps me so much to manage being at home. And I can tell the difference when I've been out in the morning and I've had some exercise or on a day where I've uh, maybe not managed to do that. And so even though it's now grey and it's rainy outside, I'm still going to try and keep up that routine. Because we know that staying at home is really tough and these are really unusual times. And for lots of us who might have um, challenging circumstances, limited space, all of those sorts of things at home mean that staying at home is difficult. And lots of us are worried about our friends and our families, we're watching the news. And all of those things are going to contribute to making it difficult for us. And so what I want us to have this morning in our assembly is a time to think about how we can best manage some of those emotions, some of those difficulties that we might be facing, and also hear from some bridge staff as well. Every assembly that we have when we are together at Bridge begins by reflecting on our values. Just like every single morning in our morning meetings, we reflect on the values that are going to help us to be successful. And I think that even though we are apart, we're still Bridge and these values are absolutely going to be at the core of what we do every single day. We know that so many of you are demonstrating the value of hard work, keeping on going, even when you're finding things difficult. And we are really impressed with how you are doing that, both in your schoolwork and in the other things that you've got going on in your lives at the moment. We also know that integrity, doing the right thing, even when no one is watching, is absolutely something which so many of you are demonstrating every single day at home, completing the work in exactly the way that you need to but also treating other people really well, making sure that you are looking after all of those people around you. And finally, kindness, that value that is absolutely the core of who we are at Bridge, making sure that we, ref um, we understand that we are part of a team, that working together, we are all going to be more successful. And we've seen lots of examples where Bridge students have been looking after each other or looking after members of their family or wider friendship circles and really looking out for um, people in their community, which is so impressive and so nice to hear about. We really are incredibly proud of how you are managing incredibly difficult circumstances. Every single day, we hear about fantastic things which Bridge students are doing, and it is great to get that feedback from you. So what are some of the things that might help you? Something which I found really helpful is having a routine that you keep to every single day. Trying to get up at the same time, making sure you're going to bed at the same time. Keeping that routine is really helpful. It's why we put together a schedule for you when you're working at home. So that even if you can't keep exactly to it, you're able to work around that schedule and try to have that routine. Make sure you're speaking to people at home if you're finding things difficult. It's absolutely fine to be finding things difficult at the moment. This is really unusual. So please speak to people if you are. Try to keep in touch with your friends and family, even if you live at a distance. My family are all up in Nottingham. I'm not able to see them at the moment. So I'm making sure that every other day I'm FaceTiming my mum and uh, having a conversation with her, just checking that she's okay. Make sure you're not putting too much pressure on yourself. Absolutely, we want you to complete the work and do all the things that we want you to do to help your learning to continue. But don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't feel like you have to do absolutely everything and be okay all of the time. And making sure that you're taking time to exercise and to sleep. When I'm doing some research around some of the things that you might be able to do that could help you at this moment. These are some of the ideas which I've come across that I think sound really helpful. 
So first of all, relaxation techniques like mindfulness and deep breathing. There's loads of advice around these things on the internet that you can have a look at and, um, and take up. Follow things that you're interested in. Pursue hobbies that provide really good distraction for you. Try to get some really good quality sleep, making sure you are going to bed on time, getting up at a good time so you're sleeping properly. Really trying to keep active, so whether that's walking, cycling, doing a favourite sport, if that's possible, or exercises that promote relaxation, so things like yoga that you can do in the home. And if you're able to get outside into nature, whether that is just going to the local park or common, or going somewhere a bit further afield, that would be fantastic. Spending time with friends and family, even if that is online, try to have those conversations with people using FaceTime, Zoom, uh, WhatsApp call, whatever it might be, to have those conversations. And then finally, and this is so important, really make sure that if you need help, you're asking for it. Talk to your teachers, talk to your family, your friends. There's lots of online support for you as well. We absolutely want to hear from you if we can help you at all. So what I thought I'd move on to now doing is sharing what some of our staff are doing uh, whilst we're in lockdown to help them to manage themselves and to help manage the time that they have got. I thought I'd start off just with reflecting on some things that I've been doing. So the first thing that is absolutely the case is that work has changed. Um, I used to spend lots and lots of time working in that building at Bridge Academy, working with you and having a fantastic time doing it. But so much of my time now is spent in front of a laptop doing the work that um, that I'm, uh, I've got to do to help to prepare lessons, calling you, getting in touch with you, checking to make sure that you are okay. I'm uh, lucky enough to be going into Bridge a couple of days a week to work with a small group of students who are still there. And that's really nice to, to get into the building, but it is really weird being there without all of you in that same space. And the rest of our lives have changed too. So lots of video calls, a screenshot of a video call I've had, lots of board games that I'm being forced to play, but I am starting to enjoy them now. And I even had my birthday during lockdown, and I was really lucky that uh, some friends left me a birthday cake on my doorstep uh, so that I could enjoy that, even if we couldn't all be together to celebrate the fact that I was getting another year older, which is obviously very upsetting for me. So now let's see what members of the bridge staff have been doing. So some of them have been learning new skills or developing their existing skills. Miss Bendel has been taking the time to do a wonderful paint by numbers painting. And that inspired Miss Gamundi to do exactly the same, along with knitting herself a cardigan and reading the latest Ali Smith novel. Miss Islam's also been doing some fantastic artwork. Miss Cohen's been learning Duolingo Italian. And Mr Simpson has been practising his origami. Miss Springer has been doing bird watching, watching the peregrine falcons in the church next to her house, and also has been improving her piano playing. Miss Davis has found the time to paint her garden gnomes with hours of fun and blissful concentration. And don't they look fantastic? Hi everybody, this is Miss Paul. Um, one of the things that I've been doing during lockdown um, to keep myself busy um, is I really like making things. So I've been knitting um, for my niece, who's one. I've knitted her a little top and I'm going to embroider some flowers on there. I'm also knitting some stripy leggings to go with it. Um, just one leg done so far. I hope you're all well. Bye bye. Hello. One thing I've been doing during lockdown is I've been practicing breathing methods uh, by a guy called Wim Hof, who you might know as the Iceman. And now I can hold my breath for over four minutes. So I'm quite proud of that. down to keep myself entertained because we don't have an outdoor space is um, I'm trying to teach myself a language or I'm trying to teach myself Hindi and Gujarati because they're languages that don't use the same alphabet as us so it's actually quite fun to 
practice the characters and learn the different words and there's loads of clips on YouTube that can help me uh, practice. Some members of staff have been helping at home and in the community. Ms McCann in the office has done some fantastic work making wash bags that carers and nurses can use to hold their used scrubs and transport them to the washing machine. Ms Harris has let us know that her and her family have decided to send a message to our wonderful NHS heroes on the outside of their house, along with making pictures for NHS Nightingale. At home, they've been clapping for carers every single week. Ms Harris's daughter Elodie is hitting her pan lid as loud as she possibly can. And it was her third birthday this week, which largely involved dressing up all day and playing in the garden. Hey, hope you're all keeping well. One of the ways I've been keeping busy during lockdown and making sure that I don't go crazy is I've been doing a massive clear out. So I've been getting rid of loads of clothes and stuff that we've kept for years and years and years that we don't use and putting them all in bin bags. And although it doesn't look great at the moment, I know I feel so much better when I get to put them, give them to charity, give them away to friends and everywhere so much cleaner. Reading is a fantastic way to spend some time while we are at home more. Mr Higgins has been reading The Black Flamingo, which was shortlisted for this year's Carnegie Medal. During lockdown, I like to read to relax, even if it is about totalitarianism. Spending more time with family and friends, whether that's online or in our own homes, is a great way to spend some of the time we've got in lockdown. For Miss Harris and her family, they spent time face painting, going out into fresh air where they've been able to, and baking together as a family. Miss Seabright has let us know about a fantastic tradition that she has established at home, where they have tea together as a family at 3pm every single day. And when they're able to, they Zoom call um, Miss Seabright's mum, who lives alone on the Isle of Wight. Miss Raoul set up a weekly WhatsApp challenge for a group of friends, family and neighbours. Hello everyone, missing you all so much, particularly missing hanging out in the space room with lots of you. So I've been trying to think of fun things that we did in the space room that I can do at home to keep me occupied. So I've taken on lots of your recommendations of how great Lego is and I've been really enjoying putting together some Lego kits. And I've also been really missing playing Uno with lots of you, but I don't have Uno at home. So I have made a set of Uno cards so I can play with my family. If anybody else makes a better set, please send me a picture. Hope to see you all soon. Hi, Daddy. Hi, everyone. This is my lockdown. My daughter shouting more toys at me as we build a den in the living room for the 15th time. Getting into the kitchen and doing some cooking for the people that we live with at home is a really great way to spend some time during this lockdown. I know I've been going to the very back of my cupboards to try and find the tins and cans that I wouldn't normally use to see what I can make rather than going to the supermarket. Miss Queeky's been practising her baking skills and has seemed to produce some fantastic food. Miss Nosh has been growing her own food along with making her own drinks and bread. Miss Hack's also been doing some baking with her two-year-old. Miss Ajimi's been doing some baking, all of which looks absolutely delicious. Getting outside once every day whilst we're in lockdown is a really important way to make sure you're staying healthy, both physically and mentally. Miss Holder's been walking her dog every single day along with making pasta and doing some puzzling too. Mr Hodges has been able to get outside into the garden, doing some planting and tidying up, as well as trying to regrow some vegetable scraps for his pet tortoise. Cycling is my new form of exercise. I cycle every day for an hour to keep up my energy levels and my motivation whilst in lockdown. Um, I hope everybody's keeping well and, and staying safe and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye for now. Hi. 
Hi everybody, I, uh, you probably don't know me, uh, a lot of you, I work as a counsellor at Bridge with Deborah. Now, this is what I'm doing to keep well. No, it's not skiing, it is the Nordic walking. It's very good to have when you go in the park, because when people come towards you and you're too close, you can go slalom, like this. And also what I'm thinking about doing is putting some electrifying things on the end so I can go you know don't come too close anyway i hope you're keeping safe and staying well and hope to see you all again soon okay bye if you know i love exercising because it keeps you really calm and focused and so this lockdown i've been spending a lot of time running which is great and everything but still can't keep up with my kids i better go catch them up wish me luck make sure you stay safe and look after yourselves guys I hope it was good to hear from some of the teachers and staff at Bridge about the sorts of things that they're doing when they're spending this additional time at home. We are really proud of how well so many of you are doing and we're really keen to hear from you and it's great when you get in touch to let us know the things that you are up to. Just a couple of notices before we finish this assembly. First of all is to let you know about a brand new weekly photographic competition that we're going to be running at Bridge. Every week there's going to be a brand new theme for you to base your photography on and you can send your entries to Miss Braithwaite. This week the theme is the world from your window. And so you can use that theme to take your photographs and you need to send in your photos to Miss Braithwaite by midday on Wednesday the 6th of May. And your tutors will have more details about this in your tutor call tomorrow. And finally, just thinking about that tutor call tomorrow at 8.35, we'd really like it if you could share your ideas with your tutor group. So have you been learning or developing new skills? Have you been helping at home or in the community? What are you reading at the moment and would you recommend it to other people? What are you doing when you're spending additional time with family and friends? Have you been doing cooking or baking? And have you managed to get outside into the fresh air? We'd love you to think about what you're most proud of having done during the lockdown. And then finally, are there any ideas that you've heard about that you would like to try? And so you can talk about all of those things with your tutor groups and your tutors tomorrow on the tutor call at 8.35. I hope that you've enjoyed this assembly. We really do miss you and we are really looking forward to when we can have you back in the academy all together, just like usual. Have a great day.